Okay, that's what Mitch has found. This hose cracked in a few places and that's exactly what it was leaking from. Well, this one, does it look like it's through, Mitch? Uh, well, regardless, it needs to be replaced. But the good thing is, so it comes from the supercharger over this way, but there's a splice in there. I don't know if it's visible on the camera. Yeah, it is. So we're going to replace this little, and of course, when when we'll get back to, uh, we'll, when we get back home, we'll uh, have to go on through all the hoses and uh, replace them, just as a preventive maintenance. They are probably at least ten years old, maybe some of them even older. Okay, boys are going to town to get the hose and the antifreeze and we're going to improve the camp okay it didn't take but 15 to 20 minutes since the boys left and us being in Wyoming the weather is changing there is some clouds moving in from the west, so it most likely will see some rain. So, so, so much for improving the campsite. We're packing everything and uh, wait for the boys to come back and we'll make the decision what we're gonna do next. All right, here it comes. Catherine, are you going to smile to the occasion? Yeah. So, instead of rain, it's all technically it's not summer yet today is uh, I don't remember if I said it in the beginning of the video or when I start started filming it but it's what 31st or 30th of May um, 31st. well either 30th or 31st it's Saturday and uh, out here in the mountains and the elevation here is well let me take a look Okay, I've been waiting for the GPS to lock in to give me the uh, altitude. But it, it's taking forever probably because of the <coughs> cloud cover. But anyway, it's probably around 9,000 uh, 9, feet above the sea level. And it, well, it, it's thundering, there's some lightning I just saw but it was actually snowing boys are not back yet Catherine is entertaining herself with with the pad drawing by the way um, this pad I got is exclusively for mostly I mean obviously it's going to be used in a different capacity and uh, sometimes but mostly it's for the maps and um, I am I I have uh, I purchased the, uh, the backcountry navigation app for it as far as for the mapping it's uh, um, it, it those maps can be downloaded so even without the internet connection or service um, one can navigate but if anybody has any ideas on maps for Russia but not in English but in uh, in Cyrillic um, I would appreciate some some pointers because I kind of spend the time I'm not sure there is a couple of services out there but I would like to have all the city and towns written in Russian um, I guess for the main reason for that would be is if something happened to me and my kids will have to continue, uh, it will be easier to read it the town and basically compare what's on the map when it's in English. And they are not, uh, they don't read in Russian. So I'm trying to find a, a source for a downloadable maps, uh, an app on Android Marketplace that would have uh, maps with the Russian spelling. It sounded like the truck was coming in and sounded a little like Toyota. 
and it's been a while since I heard it, but I don't see anything coming. Do you think they are lost, Catherine? Maybe. <laughs> you think they are lost? Probably. They probably don't remember where this turn off like is. That. I don't even remember where we turned off. Well, we'll see. Okay, boys are back. So now we'll have to wait. Hopefully, we'll the this snow mixed with the rain thing will stop, so we can fix up our hose and decide what to do next. Okay, we're probably a few minutes away from being back in business and we're contemplating actually pushing through and continue with, well, with our original destination so we'll uh, give it a shot see how easy we'll be able to climb once we get to the pass we'll look for a place to camp um, it at least in the, um, in the valley it doesn't get dark until 8 o'clock now so we'll still have some daylight to set up the camp what do you think Max? Yeah, sounds good? alright so we'll just keep pushing we're not gonna give up and turn around tuck our tail between our legs and run back how much? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Okay, temperature is normal. We are in business. In the way, I'm kind of glad. I'm I'm, I'm kind of glad that it happened because uh, it's always good learning experience, and I rather for it to happen somewhere where it's it was as easy as to run the pickup back to town. I mean, it's still good 40 miles probably, but. It's not hundreds of miles. We'll see what we can break next.
<laughs> film next, film next.